Two Tone Airsoft Reviews is in association with Chessfield Imperial Airsoft. Hello and welcome to the second episode of Battle Logs. Today we have with us James Hawkins. Hello James Hawkins. Hello. So how's it going? I'm good, thank you. You've probably seen this fellow before. He is one of the main dudes in... Dudettes? Is there any dudettes? There isn't any dudettes. Mm. Oh no, what a shame. Mm. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, yep. Okay, so we have the first question for you. How long have you been airsofting? Uh, I'd say about two, two, three years. Started sometime in 2010, I think it was. Who or what got you into airsoft? I'd have to say that I've always been a fan of military things and guns and stuff like that. Uh, but I'd probably have to say it was Alex that got me into airsofting. Who? Me? Yes, you, Alex. Oh, thank you. Um, I first went paintballing at the skirmish site uh, in, two th in I think it was 2010 for my birthday. Um, and I saw the airsofting and I was like, oh my god, they have real guns. And then someone pointed out to me saying, no, they're airsofting. I was like, ever since then, I was like, screw paintball, give me airsoft. What was your first piece of airsoft kit? My first piece of airsoft kit would have to be the G&G RK47. Um, I bought that from Action Hobbies way, way back. So it served me well when I was using it. Unfortunately, it was a little odd for me to hold, and I've now gone from that to the scar. What? Is your favourite airsoft moment? My favourite airsoft moment to date would probably actually be... Um, I think it was at Phoenix Airsoft, I think the last, the last time we went actually. Basically it was a case of, they had their, their, it was like their 90 acre site. They'd set up a mission where there was, I think it was only like six or seven of us on each team. And the idea was that one team had to move from point point to point setting off a mortar each time and we had to stop them. We finally realised where they all were heading um, and set up a decent sort of defensive position ahead of them and it was just a case of we were defending it so well that the marshals ended up having to throw grenades into our huts to in an attempt to flush us out which the enemy completely failed at. In your sleep, and when you uh, are in the land of dreams, what rifle do you hold? Um, call me a sucker, but it's the S. I'm British through and through. You know, it's, it's a brilliant looking rifle. It served the British Army for many a many year. If money was no object, a minigun. A minigun. A minigun. A minigun. A minigun. If you had to give advice about airsoft, what would it be? Don't get overwhelmed, you know. This, when I first started, everyone was saying, oh, you should get this gun, it's brilliant for, for first starters. And another person would say, no, this gun. And this another one would say, oh, no, this gun. And someone else would say, no, this gun's even better. Or I'd sell you my gun for this. It's brilliant for starters. Just really, I'm not saying don't listen to anybody, but go for what you feel like. It just it really go for what you feel. But like I say, try and steer away from uh, anything other than assault rifles and uh, SMGs. Go for LMGs if you really want to, but they're a bit big um, for your first weapons, but do whatever you feel like. Okay, thank you James for coming in today and doing the interview. Uh, this oh, is my I'll, house. Oh, well, I know it's your house. <laughs> Just, uh, I'll see you around. Have many memories together. Yes, we will. Okay, t turn it off. SF Reviews Battle Logs. Uh, have a nice day, everybody. <laughs> Harlem shit.